Bernard! Welcome! I was hoping you would come and try my food sometime. Yes, well, it was all you would talk about for these past couple weeks every time I come to see you. Well, my food does have a bit of a reputation in town, but I am quite proud of it. I hope your food means your reputation then, Hank. I'll take one salmon burger to with. One salmon burger coming right up. Boy, I hope the burger's good. By the way, so I'll just go back to eating peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> Alright, one salmon burger coming right up. I hope you enjoy. Hold it right there, mister. I need you to know if it's good or bad. Well, what do you think? This. This is heavenly. How? How on earth did you manage to create this beautiful creation? Oh, well, it's simple. First, I know. Don't tell me. Fetch me another burger at once. A better yet, a burger and a shrimp. Oh, boy. I want to see how your other food is. Um, yes, sure thing, Bernard. I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. Sweet heavenly burger. Where have you been all of my life? Yes, it is I, the mayor. Just a second, Leonard, old pal. I need just one minute. Yes, Hank, I demand the dino nuggies. I think it would be appropriate and fitting seeing how I am a paleontologist and archaeologist. Hmm. How strange. The diner is mostly empty and Hank is busy. Ooh. Goodness gracious, that boy can eat a lot. Hmm. Oh, Isaac? Oh, I guess he certainly can bury a lot of food inside of him. What? No. Bernard! He challenged me to a cook-off. You know, to cook off some food for him. So when he asked for the salmon burger... Oh dear. I think I see where this is going. Hank, I finished those dining luggies. I now request a tuna fish salad. I'll be right back, Mary Leonard. My, oh my, oh my. You built someone from the house in this town, and all of a sudden, they put your local d diner on a business. Hmm. I should go talk to Bernard. Oh yes, Mary Leonard. How wonderful to see you. Leonard, have you tried their panzanella salad yet? Everything on the menu is absolutely delicious. Well, yes, that's actually what I wanted to talk to you about. Ooh, I think they have shakes too. Um, Hank, I'll take a chocolate shake, a, ban a banana shake, a strawberry shake, a blueberry shake, a pineapple upside down shake, and uh... Yeah, just bring me shakes. Bernard, you're allergic to chocolate, and half of the things you said aren't even on the menu. <laughs> I know. I'm waiting to see if he'll bring them or not. I'll be just a bit of Bernard. You, you know, you don't have to order everything off the menu today. You're a local here now, and uh, you can come here whenever you like. No, I know, but I'm not leaving until I do. I must try everything there is. Bernard, listen, I, I'm gonna come back later, mostly because I came here to pick up food to begin with and bring it back to home to Linda, but I'm coming back, all right? And when I do, I'm gonna check up on you, okay? Sure, 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 come back whenever you want. I'll still be here eating here. That's what I'm afraid of. Where's my favorite biological brother? Just a second, Walt. I'm currently cooking still. But there's no one here. Hank, I'll take a banana split and another salmon burger. Ah, oh, I see. But surely he hasn't ordered that much today. No, it has not been busy at all. Thank you for noticing. But that one customer over there, Bernard, has ordered over 30 plates and 14 milkshakes. I'll go talk to him. Hey, um, hey, hey, buddy? Are you okay there, Bernard? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Perhaps try swallowing your food first. <clears throat> Walter, I have never knew how delectable and delicious your brother's food could be. Yes, yes, yes. Well, he is a good cook. But listen, Bernard, eating this much food is simply not good for you. Impossible. Who said eating too much of a good thing or having too much of a good thing could be bad? Um... Everyone, Bernard. Everyone said that. Well, everyone else is wrong, because this food is amazing. Bernard, do you know what happens when you eat too much? To some extent, yes, but I can always use a show while eating, so please, educate me. Well, Bernard, you see, the average empty stomach is around 12 inches long by 6 inches across at its widest point. 
As an adult, your stomach can expand to hold up around one quart of food, or four cups. That is fascinating. But you see, I'm not your average everyday dog. Furthermore, I am determined to try everything in this diner. Well, you can certainly try. But Bernard, you see, the average person should consume around 2,000 to 2,500 calories a day. What do calories have to do with anything? Well, a calorie, by definition, is written right here. It is a unit of energy used to measure the nutritional value of food. Well, how many calories do you think I've eaten? Well, I'm no expert, but judging by Hank's estimate, and the amount of dishes he served you, at least 50,000 calories in the past couple hours alone. Hmm. Not good enough. We're not stopping till I reach a million calories. That's horrible for you, Bernard! You can't do that! Why not? Do you know what happens if you eat that many calories? No. If you eat that many calories at once, that sends your body into overdrive, and your organs begin to hurt and fail as they expand. Bernard, you're going to hurt yourself and possibly give yourself a heart attack. My, that is serious. Perhaps I should stop. That's great, Bernard. I'm glad I was able to talk some sense into you. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I have such a good friend like you, Walter. Anytime, buddy. You know, we're all here for you. We want you to be around for a very long time. Okay. Now I'm going to go home now. And if you need something, you call me or Leonard or anyone else in this town and we'll gladly come running to help you. Sure thing, buddy. Okay. Remember, call me if you need me. Yes, I will. I will. Oh my, oh my. I, I certainly don't want to hurt myself. But this food... Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm. Uh, Hank, bring me a fruit salad. Okay, that should help in my stomach at least. Mm. Yes, it is I, the mayor! Returning. Lenny? Lenny, is that you? Uh, yeah, yes, it's me. Uh, I, I need your help. Like, is that you, Bernard? Oh, I'm coming at once! Hurry! Oh my goodness gracious. You've turned to a balloon. Can you help me out? How? By rolling you out of here? Oh my goodness gracious, we're, we're gonna have to put ramps around here. I'm gonna put ramps around the town. We're gonna have to get you a little cart to push you around in. Lenny, please. No, now is not the time for jokes. Jokes? I'm not joking, I'm serious. Our town will be a laughing stock. Oh, oh dear, what do we do? Lenny, please. Th that's what I'm asking you for. I, I, I need you to get me to my home and on a treadmill. I I've eaten too much. I can see that. Well, I'll certainly try. Thank you, Lenny. I, I really appreciate it. You know, Bernard, I don't know if you ever heard the expression, but too much of a good thing can be bad. You have to pace yourself and not bury yourself into something that seems too good to be true. No, I, I know that now. I'm just glad I have such a good support system in this town. I owe you, Walter, and I especially owe Hank an apology. I agree, Bernard. But first, let's try to get you home, okay?